to broke ass EDC, home of the working stiffs every day carry. Got a little arcane designs today. The pray out Pratheon, which was arcane's drop on the perfect everyday carry. Three and a quarter inch drop point. Man, let's get a look at this nice package there. A little birth card there. Certification. This is a G10 S35 model. Satin gray. Born on 12-1-22. Nice package there, nice package. Man. Soak it up. Little. Man. Look at there. Look at there. Let y'all soak that up. We'll go over the basics, I guess. We'll hit the uh we'll hit the basics here. Looking at a blade length of 3.25 inches. Closed. Sliding in your pocket at four. Overall open. 7.3 and weighing in on the G10 version at 3.2 ounces. Got that drop point, flat ground, S35VN steel. Soup the nuts, dead center there. Little deep carry pocket clip that'll flip from side to side with one screw. Got it holding it in there. Little channel it rides. Man, that's a good carry. It's actually in and out of the pocket pretty smooth. Little natural G10 there. Screaming to be a color change to whatever. Float your boat. Solid thumb stud action there. Let's see here. Get the, uh, on the handle grip. You can get all four fingers just on it with that jimping to rest. And then you've got a little, little bit of a finger troll there that you can choke up on and get, get into the precision mode. It looks it, but it don't feel, you can feel it a little bit that, that you're gonna be right there on that edge, but that's my big meathead finger. If, you ain't, if you've got a little bit skinnier finger, it'd probably be dead on and probably feel a little bit safer. But if I was gonna do anything serious, I'd probably come back here. Cause if I can feel a little bit of that edge, no, cause I, sure enough, you'll dig in that damn corner of your finger there. Good solid drop, little action on it I mean it's uh coming in at 200 bucks for the G10 version it's definitely on the higher end but you know you you are looking at an arcane designs this is a, a more premium uh, shop to begin with and they're a little bit science fiction inspired bam on their designs but it's definitely an interesting one to look at and very useful to boot uh, the front flipper kind of rolls out for me I'm not the uh, the best Probably have to throw a little wrist in it. And for some reason, I'm all, my fingers are getting a, getting in the way for a front flip on this. It just doesn't, doesn't do well for me. But man, that thumb stud slings it out there. Probably a little more practice, a little fidget. But, uh, when I have carried it, it's straight to the uh, to the thumb stud. That's probably my my preferred method on this one. 
I mean, this thing is light. And, uh, pretty good carry. Don't know if I would swing the 200 for it. I got this on, on some trading. And, uh, at that point, you're really buying into the design. And there are some, uh, some options there. Uh, they did sell some inserts. You can find them here and there to, to swap these out. The titanium might be the, you know, a little bit, but if you go to titanium, uh, you're definitely stepping up in your weight a little bit. You're adding an ounce to the overall weight of it. And I think the uh, titanium come in either the uh, 20 CV, so then you're stepping up into some serious steel or that Dama steel. And uh, well, I haven't even, I ain't even put no hands on no Dama steel, so. Uh, you got milled steel liners. That are really cutting down on that weight. You can see down in there, that's some great. And then I don't know if I can capture it. You got that arcane billboarding in the back of the backspacer, which is nice. You got the small logo on the blade. Designer mark. I mean, it's uh, it's got that futuristic and classiness to it. I mean, it ain't over the top with no crazy billboarding. Deep carry pocket clip, ambidextrous back and forth without leaving a mess on either side for it. A lot of thoughtful design cues in there that, that keep it clean and keep it this look either going left or right. Great little knife right out the gate. Uh, pretty tickled with it. But, I mean, you know, getting into these knives, you're you're looking at a, an investment. But uh, it's sturdy. Don't think you're really going to have any issues with it in the long term. And it, it could do some serious work if you want to get it out and, and put it to work like that. I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't be worried about it if I was going to really work it and put it through its tests. But this one probably will slide on into somebody else's pocket, you know. I really like it, but I not, you know, there might be something come along in a trade, you know, you know how it goes in the, in the old Facebook marketplace. See something you like and you'll end up offering it up. Y'all, if you get a chance, check it out. I'll probably uh, try to check out a couple more of these arcane designs. They're, uh, they're pretty interesting. I'll drop a link down in the, uh, the old description for it, but. This is probably their entry level. Uh, some of their other designs are uh, like the Creature and, and some of these, uh, uh, the Plexus or the Cry. I mean, they're, uh, they're some crazy cool looking knives to be honest and probably gonna try to get my, uh, my hands on them at one time or another. But, uh, Definitely an interesting brand uh, from Israel. And uh, that's the founder of Arcane and their, and their, their design work. And I think his biggest thing is he's got a love for the sci-fi and the classic horror. And it comes out in these designs. So, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop a comment. What do you think of the Arcane designs? I tell you, it's definitely a classy package. You're not getting a, uh, it's definitely not a $50 special. Y'all, stay sharp. Stay safe.